In this video, we're going to have a look at the designing of the form layout on an incident. So starting off, we're going to look at the details section. And as an administrator, I have the option to be able to design a form. So clicking on the design button now gives me a, uh, a format where I can change some of the fields. So I'm just looking at the uh, extended reference number, and I've clicked on the property section. So from here, I can do things like making it visible, uh, selecting the mandatory option. Now I'm also able to configure some input validation. So using the regular expressions, I can go through a selected list of default expressions. In this case, I've selected one that will uh, enforce the typing of two letters followed by four numbers. And we can create uh, our own validation error message that gets presented to the user in the case where they enter in incorrect information. The test expressions allows us to test this. So I'm just going to type in uh, some uh, random characters, and then followed by the uh, a valid character set. And we're just going to click on OK. We can also change the order that these fields are displayed within this section. So I'm just going to take the uh, extended reference number, and I'm going to drag that up to the top. And the next thing I can do is add a new field to this form uh, by clicking on the plus symbol. So here I'm just going to put in uh, the, the title for the field name and call it Impact. And I'm going to select Combo Box for the type and click OK. And the new Impact field has been added to the form. We can now click on the properties of this field, and we'll start by making it visible. Now next being a Combo Box, we can now add the items that we wish to be made available to this when a user selects it. So I'm just going to add a new list called Impact, and we'll click on Add. And now we can add the different items. So we'll start with one user. And we'll click on OK. And some users as our next item. And click on OK. And finally, add the last lots of users. And once you've completed all your changes to the form, you can then simply click on the Publish button, which then make these available to all your users. So here we're just going to click on Edit. We'll see our external reference number up at the top of the form. And again, we can test our input validation. And we also see our new pick list down the bottom labeled Impact.